my dear technician you're welcome to the part two of the video i posted some few days ago check this out check the panel very well so the first thing i'll do now i'll boost the battery because there's a small voltage in the battery and the voltage won't be able to power on the phone so i'll first of all boost the battery for me to boost the battery i need to remove the battery check this out you can see i'm putting my chemical right now so that the chemical would dissolve the gum okay it is very, very important for you to put chemical so that it can dissolve the gum my dear technician so after that keep it for a while and now use your tools to remove the battery so let me remove the battery right now for you guys to see check this out if you have question feel free let me know in the comment section if you have any question about this phone or any other phone that you want me to help you with let me know in the comment section okay check this out i'm taking my time to do this and i want you to also take your time to do your customer phone check this out you can see there's still leftover chemicals but don't worry it's going to dry the chemical is just like a it's just going to dry off okay so check this out my dear technician i'm going to boost the battery right now so that i'll have enough power to boot on the phone at least i'll boost it to 3.9 volt check this out if you check uh, my booster you'll see that we have 2.7 volts here that means the battery is low the battery is low so i'll charge the battery now to 3.9 check this out Check this out. Let me show you. Let me show you. Check this out. Check this out, my dear technician. I'm still working on it. Check this out. I'm still working on it. Check this out. Here we have 3.9. So let me disconnect the battery and put in the phone and turn on the phone for you guys to see. My dear technician, so let me take my time to do this. Check this out. I'm fixing the panel. Check this out. I'm fixing the panel. So let me turn on the phone now to see. Check this out. The phone turns on. The next thing now is for me to check the IC that is heating up. I'll put paste there. I want you guys to see that the power IC is heating up seriously. I'll put paste there for you guys to see. I'll put paste there want you guys to see very very well my dear technician right now i'm detecting that particular ic that is heating up according to my technician that brought the phone he told me that the power ic section is a problem that is heating up very very seriously so i'm still checking to be sure that it is from power ic or any other place but i'm still checking my dear technician, after checking for a while, I discovered that uh, the power IC section is heating up, like he told me, it's heating up seriously. So let me put paste now for you guys to see. As a proof, I'm putting paste now. Check this out, it's even melting the paste. My dear technician is melting the paste already. <laughs> It's melting the paste already guys something is wrong somewhere something is wrong somewhere i need to check deeply to know the main reason why need to know the main reason why could be something else i don't want to mention something now but it could be other you know emc or any other icls According to the reading, the power IC is still working very well. But something somewhere is loading, is consuming power. That is why the power IC is heating up. So you need to trace and see and know where the problem is coming from. My dear technician, I take my time to confirm to be sure that the power IC is the one heating up. Okay, after the confirmation, the next thing now is for me 
to disconnect the battery and remove the panel and go deeply to check to know where the problem is coming from. Are the technician, if you have any question, let me know in the comment section. Let me know right now in the comment section. It is very, very good for you to know how to troubleshoot. Please, as a phone technician, know how to troubleshoot. It is very, very important so that you'll be able to fix phone faults. You'll be able to fix any issue, you know, in any phone. Okay. It is important for you to know how to troubleshoot. My technician, without time wasted, let me disconnect the battery and remove the panel from the phone casing and check. Okay. And check. Checking means to troubleshoot. To find that IC that is causing the issue. Okay. I'm taking my time to do this. I'm taking my time to do this. I'm taking my time to do this. So let me disconnect battery. Check this out. If you have any question, like I said, let me know in the comment section. If you have any question, feel free. Let me know in the comment section. My dear technician, let me open this e zinc. I have to open this e zinc to check the inside. My dear technician, so let me do that now. Check this out. Let me check this particular e zinc. I want to check the inside. If there is any IC or if there is any physical damage, you know, that could stop the phone from working perfectly because the phone panel is heating up. Like I said, the problem is not from the power IC. Something is loading. Something is consuming power. That is why the power IC is heating up. So I'm taking my time to do this. Make sure that you take your time to do this. It's very simple. Ask me a question if you have any question. Ask me a question. Check this out. I'm taking my time to do this. Check this out. Check this out. No time to waste. I'm doing this. I want to check the inside. I want to expose everything. I want to expose everything open. Check this out. I'm taking my time to do this. Guys, it's not easy. As a phone technician, you have to troubleshoot. You have to learn a lot so that you'll be able to work your customer phone and make money. Okay? Check this out. I will be done. So let me put paste around because I need to remove the heat zinc. Need to remove the two heat zinc. Very, very important. Need to do that. Need to remove the two heat zinc. So that I will check around the IC. Check this out. My dear technician, feel free. Let me know if you have any question. Check this out. Let me start heating up. The temperature I will use now is 210. Okay. The temperature I will use now is 210. I'm using 210 now. I'm using 210 to remove uh, the shell, the ion. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. I will be done. 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 Check this out. You have to be very, very careful. My dear technician, you have to be very, very careful. Take your time to do this. Take your time to do this. If you have question, let me know in the comment section. Okay. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section. As you can see, I apply paste. 
apply more pest because if you don't apply pest the heat might spoil something else so you have to take your time apply pest and then do again okay okay now on this side I will be done, I will be done, I will be done. I did technician, so let me remove the heat zinc. The main reason why the heat zinc is still there is because of uh, the PCB stand. You know, it's a little bit holding the, the heat zinc. So let me disconnect it so that I'll remove it. Check this out, I'm done. Very simple, without any issue. That's why I always say you have to be very, very careful okay check this out you have to be very very careful the next thing now is for physical damage check for physical damage my technician if you check the ic very well this particular ic this ic have two layers if you check the first one you see that there's a line that is popping up that means that this ic is the problem okay this ic is the problem because when i was turning on the phone this ic was heating up okay this ic was seriously heating up this ic is the problem if you check you see there's a line that is popping up guys i need to tell my technician that this ic need to be fixed okay we need to find a way and get this ic and fix it my dear technician under the ic i mean the other side of the panel we have the power ic okay you may think the heat is from the power ic the heat is not directly from the power ic this IC is responsible for the heat. This IC is the one heating up. Okay. And the heat now passes through the panel to the other side as if it is from the power IC. Now you know that this IC is not working. Is the problem why this phone is heating up? And is the problem why this phone is not functioning properly according to my technician that brought the phone? My other technician, since I don't have the IC, there's no way I can fix it because i don't have it if to say i have it yes good i would have just changed the ic then everything works okay if you have any question let me know in the comment section if you have any question my day technician um for those of you that still want to join my training you are free please send us a dm chat us send us a dm join training okay so thank you for watching and see you in my next video coming very soon i love you guys Bye-bye for now. I love you all.